So what's up bosses? Last week I had a full wearing of 4160s, uh, sorry, 4160 Tuesday, sexiest scent on the planet ever, in my honest opinion. So I'm gonna be back in just a second to tell you if this is the sexiest scent on the planet. So welcome back, you're watching the Luxury Fragrance Boss channel. My name's Scott, of course, I am the Luxury Fragrance Boss. Now, as I said, last week I had a full wearing of this one right here by 4160 Tuesdays, which was the sexiest scent on the planet uh, ever, in my honest opinion. So it's got a very, very long name, quite a mouthful. Um, I've, I don't even want to go over how many takes it's taken me to get this far so far. Um, but yes, so I had a full wearing of this one. Now we'll talk about how sexy this one is in just a second. But first of all, let's talk about the scent itself. It is a very, very beautiful scent. Um, if you're looking for something, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of vanilla and vanilla is what is delivered in this one. It's a beautiful sort of musky, woody vanilla and it's got a tiny bit of citrus from some bergamot that just sits on the top and just brightens it up a little bit. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's a, it is a beautiful vanilla fragrance. Um, let's just give it a little sniff here. Yeah, I mean, was, I really did enjoy wearing this one and even though it's out of a dab, I did find it was a very, very good performer as well. But like I say, if you're looking for a sort of, I'd say a lighter vanilla fragrance, um, like a musky lighter vanilla fragrance, um, it's like I say, it's quite a bright vanilla. Something I've noticed with a lot of uh, vanillas is they tend to be quite a warm sort of smell, but this one's got a little bit of freshness to it. Whether it's from that bergamot, I think in, I, I, I could only imagine it's from the bergamot that sit in the top notes. Let's just go over the full notes of this one quickly. In the top notes, you've got bergamot. Heart note is woods. And the base notes, you've got vanilla, musk, and ambergris. But now, although this does sound like quite a musky, quite a dark, or sort of quite a, um, sort of a deeper sort of smelling vanilla fragrance, this one is really sort of bright, I would say. It's very woody and quite fresh smelling vanilla. Um, very, very different to what I'm normally used to with something like Tartil Silver, or I've got side effect here from Anisho, which is much more sort of warmer fragrances. They tend to drop in um, sort of cinnamon or something like that with a lot of vanilla fragrances. Obviously one of my favorite ones, as you know, is Straight to Heaven Extreme. Um, and if, I, I, I mean, I would say it, it is a very sexy fragrance. Um, to me, not the sexiest, um, I, I can honestly say that. Um, I think there's much sexier fragrances out there, but it is a very, very beautiful fragrance. But like I said, if you are into sort of vanilla fragrances, you're looking for something with a little bit of woodiness to it, um, something a little bit sort of lighter and brighter, um, definitely worth checking this one out and so sort of picking yourself up a sample. I'm not sure of the pricing on this one. I've not actually looked at, um, I don't often look at prices. It's and if it's something that I'm sort of really, really interested in, is when I tend to tend to look at prices on the internet um, to find out when I'll be uh, making a purchase in the future. Um, so let's talk about the performance of this one. Now, performance of this one, I was very, very impressed with. Um, as far as longevity goes, this one didn't struggle at all to make it all the way through the day and all through all the way through the evening. And my sort of workout, my evening workout in the gym before coming home, and it was still smelled absolutely, um, absolutely stunning. Um, projection. It's not the strongest smelling fragrance. Um, you're probably looking at around two to three feet maximum. Um, majority, I'd say after sort of the first sort of six hours, it came down to probably two, uh, probably around two feet. I can still smell it quite strongly all the way throughout the day. But yeah, it's, it's sort of after six hours, it was more kind of sort of little wafts and stuff like that of it rather than sort of being able to smell it at will if you were. Um, so I mean, that's my thoughts on 4160 Tuesdays. I'm not gonna say the name of it again because it's too long. Um, but yeah, the sex, sorry, well, let's go for it one more time. The sexiest scent on the planet ever, in my honest opinion. So there we go. That's, I think that's the first time I've managed to get it out in one um, in the whole time I've been trying to shoot a review for it. Um, so as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know your favorites from 4160 Tuesdays. I know I've got a few subscribers out there that are fans of this one, so please let me know your recommendations because they do seem to have uh, quite a few beautiful fragrances. I do have one more sample in here that sent to me from downtown 614 from that house so i'm looking forward to trying that one i don't remember the name of it off, um, without sort of digging through there um, so what else have i got coming up well um, i'm happy to say i've got a fragrance review to do very soon of something i've been trying to get my hands on for a long long time 
And I've got to say a massive thank you to Note Taking Skills on Instagram for sending me Creation E from Rocha Dove. Um, as I said, I've struggled to get my hands on this one. Every time I go to sort of order a sample of it, it's always sold out. Um, but thankfully, he sent me a wonderful spray here. Um, it's not quite full. Um, he offered to fill it up for me, but I'm more than happy to just take whatever was in there. Also, I've got um, Elysium as well. Um, and also Hermetica. Um, Bloomingdale's in, uh, sorry, Hermetica in Bloomingdale's in New York um, sent me this wonderful discovery pack. Um, there's quite a few fragrances in here for me to, to do. Uh, let's open it up. So as you can see there, we've got uh, 12, 13 different fragrances in there. So um, a recently award-winning house as well. So I'm really looking forward to working my way through those. So loads of good stuff coming up on my channel. Um, as well as I still got to do my top five for Clive Christian. I'm still working my way through the rest of my private collection from Clive Christian. And I've got a whole bunch of other stuff on its way as well. So make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, and as I said, please like, comment and subscribe below. Let me know um, your thoughts on this one and your, your recommendations for 4160 Tuesdays. Um, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. That way you'll be the first to know anytime I'm releasing a new video. Follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Luxury Fragrance Boss so you can keep up to date with my scent of the day, anything else that's coming up for review. Besides that, stay smelling fantastic. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you so much for watching.